Here's the deal, amigos. My Baxter Bush Determinate Tomatoes are about to start flowering, and I need to give them a whole lot of light. We're looking at a daily light integral, or DLI for short, of at least 30 moles per day. If my lights are on for 16 hours a day, that's 520 micromoles. At 12 hours a day, that's just under 700 micromoles. So what's the most efficient way of delivering this kind of light intensity indoors? Answer, a 1,000-watt double-ended HPS lamp. Oh, yeah. But here's the thing, people. My ceiling height here is just 8 feet. However, a double-ended HPS HPS in an open fixture needs around 3 feet clearance above the plants. Furthermore, my proposed growing system, the Autopod XL, raises my plants up 15 inches above the floor. And let's not forget about the plants. Left to their own devices, these Baxter Bush Determinate Cherry Tomatoes will easily grow to over 4 feet in a generous container. You do the math. 15 inches for the pots, 4 feet for the plants, 3 foot gap between canopy and lamp, plus an extra foot for hanging the reflectors equals, ta-da, 9 and a quarter feet. Houston, we may have a problem. Obviously, plants venturing too close to your grow lights is not a good thing. They will invariably suffer from heat stress and not produce well. Double-ended HPS really is the most efficient way of producing all the photons my light-hungry plants need to really produce the yield I'm hoping for. So here's my plan. Obviously, the DE HPS needs to be positioned as high as it will go. I'm going to use the Sun Systems ACDE reflector, the one that passed my PAR test with flying colors a few weeks back, which has a unique air-cooled design that doesn't cool the lamp itself and reduce output. I'll be powering a Digimap 1000 watt double ended lamp with my trusty Galaxy Grow amp. As far as plant lighting is concerned, this is pretty much a dream team. Now, down to the floor, I'll be sticking with my Autopod XL as I'm really keen to try this system indoors. It's a gravity fed system, no pumps, no timers. All I have to do is keep the reservoir topped up and adjusted. I'm burying my tomatoes deep so that they produce new roots from the buried stem, and the existing ones find the bottom of the pots quickly and begin wicking up nutrient solution. It also buys me a few more precious inches, of course. I've made a wooden frame 52 inches by 57. I intend to add a second light to cover this whole area if needed. I'll probably use my LEC 315 to supplement the double-ended HPS spectrum for healthier, more productive tomatoes. My plan is to train my plants to form a screen of green, sometimes referred to as a scrag, helping to spread my plants out into a homogeneous wide canopy with a uniform height and maintaining a healthy distance from the light source. Now, if you're a hobby grower like me, I can't recommend this technique enough. If you have a large growing facility, then, well, this technique may prove a little too labor intensive for you. But I'm also testing out two Coco Coir and Perlite mixes, Mother Earth brand and Coco Tech PX by Gen Hydro. I've also made my own custom mix using Mother Earth Cocoa, Chunky Perlite, Hydrotin Clay Balls, and Diatomite. Now the plants feed passively by sucking up what they need, when they need it, so it seemed like the perfect opportunity to try a few different mixes in the same system. Autopot recommend light mixes with good drainage. I'm using this rather fancy white ducting by Ideal Air. It's not insulated, which would truly be ideal, but it sure looks prettier than the black stuff. I'm using an 8-inch hyperfan and a fresh intake filter to push clean, cool air through my ACDE reflector. So, let me know what you think of my plan in the comments. I'll show you par readings in more detail next time along with a plant update, of course. But for now, this is Everest, squat wide and ready to receive. Oh, easy there, guys. Saying, take it easy and remember the gentle touch.